Hi, Fox News Alert. The White House now confirming the video showing the beheading of American journalist Stephen Sotkoff is by, uh, was by ISIS and is indeed authentic. This, as details emerge, about an American man killed fighting for ISIS, a homegrown terrorist, and a former employee of the Minneapolis airport. Does this show ISIS is in our midst? Joining us right now is Fox News military analyst, retired Air Force Lieutenant General Tom McInerney, who, like us, 20 minutes ago saw the president wrap up a presser in Estonia as a precursor to his meeting in NATO. First off, General, your impression of the president's remarks? Well, I thought they were, like Ed, very conflicting. They were ambivalent. We could destroy ISIS in 90 days if we wanted to. Uh, he is indicating this is a long-term problem. I don't believe it is. Let's get on with it, Mr. President. But he said, hey, this dates back to the Iraq war again, where al-Qaeda uh, in Iraq uh, put up a tough fight against our guys. Well, and that was a different kind of threat. That was a covert threat. We are now facing an overt threat, armored vehicles, seizing cities, etc. An entirely different threat, far more formidable. All right, uh, General, you thought it was very significant that we have these jetliners now, now in militant uh, Islamic extremist hands over in Libya. What role do you see that playing as we get closer and closer to another year marking 9-11? Brian, I am getting flashing red lights about to go steady red. Let me give you five or six key indications and warnings that are give me that feeling that it's very dangerous right now. Number one, King Abdullah. Uh, sent a signal to the American and the Europeans that ISIS has got a European and a U.S. reach. Number two, the beheadings that we have just witnessed are clear indications by ISIS to the American people. We are not afraid of you. We are coming after you. Number three, David Cameron, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, upgrading his alert status, warning status, to severe. We haven't done anything. Number four, Two weeks ago tomorrow, our Secretary of Defense and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff cried out that ISIS was a imminent threat to the United States and got slam dunked by the White House. I commend both of them for standing up on this. And now you've got those 11 airliners that could be pre-positioned, as I say, in South America. They could strike Europe. And there's always, where is MH370? Will it rise again? And so I just found out this morning, moments ago, that the uh, terrorists have developed an explosive that could be planted on human beings, and it cannot be traced. This is a very, very dangerous warning that we're getting, and America should upgrade our alert status to DEFCON 1. We've never done it before, but beware, America. They are coming after us. Well, uh, it looks like if that's going to happen, our Homeland Security Secretary has got to do it on its own because the president is essentially blaming social media for the uproar and the nervousness from uh, sea to shining sea. Uh, Lieutenant General Tom McInerney, thanks so much. Thank you, Brian. All right, 10 minutes now before the bottom of the hour.